attention to reality, you know, they get demonized. And I'm just one of these soldiers out here trying to bring attention back to reality. Or what the hell she, she asked? I, I was waiting for her She's to talking about the beauty standard. In. These black folks' minds are so warped. I, I, I understand why this particular person, the one in the blue, would say that because she's trying to maximize her pool of potential suitors. I don't, I don't know how good this is, but I heard it was dope. Floyd Mayweather box women if he identifies as a female. He should be able to give into today's society, though, right? I mean, right. I Going mean, there and whoop ass. What is it like? The fastest swimmer, cyclist, all of that, and the face of Maybelline and tampon mm -hmm. and Bud Light is all a dude. If Floyd Mayweather identified as a woman, okay, should he be allowed to box other biological women? I can't answer this question. I'm gonna get absolutely hated on. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. So you guys all confidently say yes. 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 You think so that would be a fair body? fight? Yes. If the organization forced the female boxers to have to compete and yes. they had no choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a uh, female boxer in his same weight class? Yes. At that point, she would be a woman, and I think it's problematic to say that a woman cannot be as strong as Floyd Mayweather. I guess. Sure. No. I don't think it's like fair at that point. I think my perspective is a little different because I'm in sport. I play hockey, so like skating and stuff, like no way. Yes. They're automatically faster, stronger. You're saying if he is who he is right now and then he tomorrow he Correct. decides. And just decided no, I'm a woman, I'm in a box. No. You're no. No. I, probably so, not. I mean, I see both sides of the kill. argument. He would <laughs> kill someone. There is this no is, other Okay, side. that's how I feel about it. I think, like, the physical strength, obviously, is very unfair. But uh, I'm all about, like, trans rights and everything like that and equality with, like, gender and everything. So that's why I kind of get... Women gotta wake situation. up. I believe so, yes. Yes? Yeah. Would that be, like, a fair yeah. fight? Believe I believe so. so, yes. I don't think that... Um, biology necessarily equates to someone's skill range. I don't think it'd be safe. Yeah, no, probably not. Not that it's not fair to a uh, trans community, but it's just like, it's a hard situation to be in for sure. Probably not. It's probably way too dangerous. Yeah. Kind of on the same page, if if the other opponent like agrees to it beforehand. Agree what, if, what if they don't agree? What if the organization forces them to have to? Not then. Yeah. Okay, then, then, then you're not. I say no because uh, men are built different they're stronger and i just think this is not equal yeah. i think the same thing i think that a there's a different thing. strength involved and i think that you know masculinity is also a thing um i don't think that it would be a fair fight if he hadn't had anything hormonally done then i would say probably not if he went through like a hormonal regimen uh blockers of some kind what would you say then uh i don't know still no an a <laughs> I think that'd be unfair for the women who train their whole lives like, to compete the in the sport. And then this? you have the a biological male that does stupid. transition to female and just to compete in their sport and she would win most of the titles in that division. Having already won 15. Exactly. I also feel like it might be unsafe, like that especially too. for like his caliber of how great he is. What would you say when I, if I told you today Thank that you. people answered yes to this question? I've had multiple people that I interviewed who said it would be a fair fight. Fucking idiots. I just don't believe that in any way, shape, or form. Like, I get the thought behind it. Like, once they transition and they take the hormones, like, you can compete at that level doesn't technically, but that, that, that just doesn't sit well with me. I mean, everyone has their opinions on everything, so... Yeah. I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter what I think or what someone else thinks. But this affects women more so than any other group, because it just doesn't happen the other way around. Like, it always happens where biological men compete in women's sports Whoopings and women succeed and do so well. Women are so like, do you think this is a setback for women's rights? Because I've had some people today who told me this is the future of women's rights. I guess it just depends on how much they dominate by. They dominate uh, it all. If it's like crazy numbers, like they're com completely yeah, just wiping everybody out, thing. then I think it's not really fair. Thomas wins the NCAA championship. I was just happy to be here trying to race and compete as best as I could. Justin, man. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Are you serious? For the first man. 25 years of her life, oh, Hannah man. was Kala, a male crazy. handball. Go back to that That's volleyball crazy. thing. That's crazy. I'd be damned if I'm... I'd be like, I would quit. If I if I was these girls, I would just quit. Look at this shit. Quit. I would punch him in his dick. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's bullshit, man. Audacity, bro. Like... Are you serious? Like, if I had to 
to guard this. Like, this is, like, what I do. Like, this sport is my life. And I have to guard this motherfucker? Oh, we playing dirty. This is a fuck. That's so fucked up, man. The thing that makes me the most mad is majority women that support this nonsense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand the mentality. Everything we've worked to get to. I don't understand the mentality at all. You're just giving it up to make men happy. Just yeah. to be um woke. Woke. Liberal. Like I want to say like to like maybe these people feel like they're being accepting and doing a good thing, but you've got to have a little bit common of sense. common sense, your own thought process, like you can't be that dumb. That's yeah. all it but, is. But they be, if they, you're a woman and you support they be so this, convicted you in have it, to be just a straight up dumbass. Ass for real. Like I don't know. You shouldn't even be able to. You like should. how do you how do you how do you graduate? How do you how do you how do you live? You shouldn't have the right to vote. But if I'm, you're a woman and you support literally shit that's ruining women's sport, women's safety. You should be kicked out of womanhood. It definitely they're like retards, <laughs> I don't man. Know. I don't. I, I be trying to under, wrap my mind around how they think. You know what I mean, like, how can you be an educated person but then think this is okay? Don't think for themselves. They just like take information in and just like. But they be so convicted in it though. Like they, it's like religion. You know what I mean? You that fucking confirmation bias. They like are around other dumbass people that like get this from the media. And think that they're doing it. But good still, thing. it don't make sense. No, I know. It right. doesn't make sense. Like, as warped as anybody can be by media, you got to fucking see this. This shit don't make no fucking sense. Yeah, you're right. And they are so, that's the thing. It's the women that are, so, that can look at something like this. Like, that's okay and, because. And be so, oh, it's the same. We're, <laughs> yeah, uh, equal rights. Um, there's no, you know, they're in the same uh, weight class. It's a skill thing. What kind of skills she need to have? Women do better, please, for for our future. Yeah, it's, it's a our wrap. It's, gonna, it's, 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 just gonna, it's just gonna get worse. Like I'm trying to think, if this is my daughter, <sighs> this is my worse. sister, and I'm one of these women that's like, yeah, it's all good. It's more important, you know, the trans community and the woke movement's feelings than. It is the destroying of women, everything. Everything. Motherhood. I didn't want to get into all that yeah, shit, man. Right. Yeah, Look at that. For the first 25 <laughs> years of her life, Hannah was Callum, a male handballer who represented Australia. At the age of 43, nearly double the age of any of the other female contestants. I go in there and clean Callum house. Fox is an MMA fighter. Awesome. I go in there and clean house. Hey, you win some money. They be, they be like 20, 30 grand for first prize. I go prize. in there and whoop ass. What's up? We, let's go. All the age of any of the other female contestants. Fallon Fox, who's an MMA fighter, also went through puberty as male, like identifies as female, fractured a woman's skull during a fight. Fox delivered oh, the knees and oh. that's it. Fallon Fox. That was sweet, huh? Did you like that? Every woman in this tournament better look out. Being well, I are think, you serious? Well, I was think, that well, I think they got her voice sounded okay. distorted. Okay, I was about to because it sounded say, like that, it did. That can't be. Uh uh. Every woman in this tournament better look out. Being born male doesn't give you a physical advantage competing in female MMA. No. You whooped on no. a girl. No. Not at all. I don't know much about that. At all. Same. I but feel like I would have to do more research. I feel like it's completely different if you go through male puberty or not. 100% of yeah. athletes who are male identifying as female go through puberty as female. Yeah, yeah. then that's kind of a ugh, yeah. scary. Say it, I don't think they should be able to fight women or whoever that was. I think they should be able to fight other athletes that maybe identify as they do. Facts. That'd be more come fair. Up with a train, know, isn't it like boxing? It's just like dangerous overall. Yeah, anybody could fracture someone's skull. I mean, you can, but you have a much oh, higher chance. I think if you, if, especially if you have like a biological advantage, like uh, you're, with your bone density, with your higher, like higher center of gravity, all the things you are, that are advantaged by going through puberty. As being a, as being male, you take that with you into a fight. It sounds like you guys are all in agreement still. Yeah. Are they not all being injured Until like that? Right? Are, are they, they not? not? So, all so being if, 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 if everybody's no, being injured, not. it's it's fine then. If if a man is fracturing a woman's skull. Well, again, trans women are women, so it would be a woman. No. Do you think trans women are women. No. 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 So I mean, that's that's where we yeah, disagree. Where USA Powerlifting just lost a lawsuit because. They refused to let someone compete in women's sports 
who went through puberty as a male but identifies as female. A four-year-long fight has come to an end after a judge ruled that USA Powerlifting has indeed discriminated against a transgender oh woman God. who is banned from competing in women's competitions. Mostly I feel relief. I think we needed a win here and yeah. it feels good to get that. Do you think that was the right verdict? Kind of going back to what I said, like I just think it's unfair for like actual women the who... The fact we even talking about this. The fact that this is even an issue. Don't you how stupid the my fact that we even got here, bro. Like, that's I mean, crazy. If I was a dude, I'd be taking advantage. Yeah. I'm, I'm signing up for all women's sports. Yeah. I'm smoking everybody on I'm every court. Go, I'm about to go be in the Olympics. <laughs> for real, I'm going to go fucking <laughs> get you a wig, de man. I don't but, need nothing. I know what I'm saying, Bobby. You're just going to show up like this. Yeah, just like this. Just, I ain't going to do like, nothing. My name is Stephanie. No, my name is Stevie. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Right Put now. me in the fucking weight class. Oh, fuck on that clean house. You Where? should. You make some money, for real. For real. I bet you I make a bunch of money. Hell yeah. Because just the, all, of this, all of this bullshit Girl, going on. Stephanie. Man. I would say, yeah. If we're trying to be inclusive, it's not their fault that they already went through puberty as a male. And if they identify as a female and if they went through the necessary hormone blocker precautions, I don't see why it's against the rules oh, for them to compete with. Facts. What about the women that they're competing against? Is it their fault either? So should they have to compete even if they feel like it's unfair? I guess so. I don't uh, know. I'm just okay, thinking so about yeah. it. I, I, yeah. So you would be happy about this person winning the lawsuit against USA Powerlift? Yes, I would. If they're identifying as a woman, they're a woman. Man, they're gonna have LeBron go fucking compete in WNBA pretty soon. In the I, house. I'm ready. Yeah, that, I, would that, that, that would be funny awesome. as hell. Honestly, as a lifter, um, a lot of women put in a lot of hard work to get to where they are. So I feel like if a male is the switch, because males are naturally they have that mus uh, the muscle mass that makes it easier for them. I feel it's very unfair to the women who have worked very hard. If we could come up with an answer that made everyone happy, then trans someone would a lot trans. smarter, that promoted a lot more of their and time. And you get the most views. Because it. so so there's not a solution now, it doesn't mean you should ever stop cool thinking of solutions to like better it one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. So well, I mean, what what solution would there be? I Changing mean, someone's I, bone structure, uh, like. <laughs> I mean, it's tough. Erasing their puberty? Like, what's the solution? Yeah, like, I mean, obviously we don't know a solution now, but like, That's I don't know. I feel like eventually you can come to a way where everyone can be happy. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I think there can be a way. Uh, as long as you got these for... motherfuckers out here literally thinking that they're women, it's always going to be a fucking issue. Right? They're not even the issue. It's everyone else that's the issue. It's yeah. the media that's pushing this. It's wow. the sport committees that are allowing this. It's the laws. It's the whole infrastructure. Shit is fucked. For everyone. Right, you might be a little bit more optimistic than me, but anyways, have a great day. It's more of the same dumbasses. It's, just, it's always surprises me, though. The amount of fucking dumbasses stupidity. There are. Smart, dumb motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers are educated. Well, they're all indoctrinated and shit. They're all that's what you don't brainwashed. Know. <laughs> School just, <laughs> just it makes it that much makes worse. Makes you dumb and dumber. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, though. Right? No, no common sense at all.